Hi guys, this is Maisie from Crafty Twins, and I got requested to do a St. Patrick's Day card, so I'm going to do that one for you. Um, so St. Patrick's Day is coming up in a little under 10 days, so I decided to make a card so you guys can make this and customize your own. So what you will need is a cardstock card that already folds, but if you don't have one of these, you can also use cardstock paper, trim it down to the size you want for a card, and fold it in half. And also, you need green and a black marker. I have a Sharpie and one of these air markers, art markers, yeah. Um, I have some ribbon with some trimmed edges, but I'm just, but it doesn't matter what kind of ribbon as long as it's green. And watercolor, of course, with a watercolor brush. And I'm using a bigger watercolor brush, but let's get started. Okay, so we are starting with the watercolor. And I'm just really using the watercolor for the corners, but you need to blend it. And watercolor is so fun to blend with. Um, so I'm using two different shades of green. Um, I'm starting off with the lighter green on the very edges. And I'm going to blend it, but first I'm just getting the basic colors. And I'm using a color water squirter to wet these. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. And I'm just going to put these two colors down kind of at the corner, making them straight. I'm going to do that with this color. And I'm not really wiping it off yet because I want them to blend. And I'm just going to add some more water, paint these down, and then I will show you what it looks like. So, that's what it looks like now. I'll show you after. Okay, so now we have the corners. And um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to blend. So, first of all, you clean your, water, your brush off. And then I just take, oh, whoopsie. Then I just take the water and kind of, first of all, just blend it in between. And I know it's going to kind of smudge, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to brush on top of this. I know you're going to think that's going to ruin it all, but it really doesn't. And you're going to have to adjust it a couple times to how you want. That's going to look really wet, first of all. And yes, it's going to drip. And you may need a paper towel at this point. So, um, then it's going to drip the, over the paper, and that happened to this card, but it will look very fancy. And what I love about watercolors, you can just dab it, and it almost goes away. So, and I'm just going to dab the edges, and I'm just going to keep adjusting it till I think it blends good. And I can just kind of brush off what I don't want with the water, and it will blend nicely. I might make it a little bit darker, but that is kind of what it looks like blended. I'm going to add a little bit more green. And then a little bit more of that. And keep blending it until I like how it is blended in the colors. So that's what it looks like now, and I'll show you after. Okay, so I have my corner painted, and you can't really tell the difference between the two colors because they're blended. But um, I may have added a little bit too much water, but that's okay. It will dry, and you can always dab, never rub when you do watercolor. Okay, so now I'm going to use my ribbon. And I'm just going to cut what I want for the corner. Alright, so I'm just kind of laying it out on the edge. I'm overlapping it a little bit. And I'm going to cut a little bit extra with my scissors. I have ribbon scissors, um, but normal scissors will do fine. But just ribbon scissors cut extra good on ribbon. And then I'm just going to layer on how I think it will fit nicely. And that I like that. And then I'm going to kind of cut it along the card like that. Okay, and now I'm going to glue it. And I'm just going to glue that and I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with the other corner. Maybe adjust it a little bit more. Alright, so now I have my watercolor blended. And I know they're not the same exact size, but it still looks cute. And it won't really matter once you get the other details in. So now, I actually forgot to mention this in the beginning, but now we need green glitter. And I'm using um, aqua glue, liquid glue, um, instead of hot glue for the glitter. I wouldn't recommend using hot glue for glitter because it can burn really easily and make big clumps of blue on your paper. Okay, so I'm using glitter flakes. Um, they're the same as glitter almost, but they're a little bit different product. Um, you can use glitter, it's fine. I use that for my card, but I'm just using this because I don't have any more of that green glitter. Um, so, I'm just going to take this glue, and I'm almost out of it, but I'm going to squeeze out what I can. I'm just going to go against the remaining line of the paper that I still have. I'm just going to give that, 
with glitter flakes um you just get take a pinch and try not to it's really hard to use glue and glitter because you spill a lot of it so try not to do too much and also you can use glitter glue if you have that but I'm just doing that and I'm gonna shake it off and that does that it look it's green now but it may not look very green look green in the package but it's a little bluish but it's still really cute and I'm gonna do that to this side also also a quick tip when you're applying the glitter you might want to do it on top of a paper so you don't waste any of the glitter um, that you use so then you can just scrape it off and put it back on your project um, another tip is also if you want to use glitter glue to use for the glue for the glitter it'll add some more sparkle and shine okay so now I'm getting on with the flower that I have um, so I'm having this kind of um, whitish greenish tint of green on and this back up with a green three leaf thing and I'm gonna glue this on and then I'm gonna glue it on the paper like this but I'm going to use hot glue for this because I'm running out of this kind of glue and it might be a little hard to stick on. So, yeah. Okay, so I've always had trouble hot gluing with these flowers. but So, really be careful not to burn it yourself because that can really hurt. So, cause since there's holes in it. And I have a glue spatula that I can use. And I'm, I can just rub it along. And my mother is just in here. Use a glue spatula to push it so you don't glue your fingers. Okay. So I'm pushing it just like my mother told me. Because it's non stick. The glue won't stick to it and it won't burn your hands. She's still a mentor when I'm doing the videos. Okay. So then I have that. Now it's um, on. And now I can glue onto the card. Okay, so I'm just pushing down the flower with this spatula. And so I don't have to burn myself. So this is a good hint if you have one of these. Definitely use it. Okay, so I have a green button. And as you notice, I didn't like add in all these flowers and buttons and all that stuff. Because I want you guys to kind of customize it. But this is what I'm just using today. So I'm going to stick a button in it to make it um, more fancy. And it's a little empty space there. So I'm going to put that down. Okay, so now I have my flower there. And I really like that extra touch it gives it. So, after I did that, now I'm just going to add St. Patrick's Day with my black Sharpie. And I apologize if the heater has been on. You've heard that because it's just nighttime, water's going, and yeah. So, that might have been a little bit loud. If you guys noticed that, I'm sorry about that. So, I'm just going to spell it St. Patrick's Day. And then I'm just going to underline it or decorate it or emphasize it with this green. So you could like draw inside, make it like that, or you could just underline it. Whatever you want to do, I circled them. But really just do what you want to do. I'm just showing in a couple examples. So then, yeah, that's the card. And you can just draw a picture or anything. As you can see, it's seeped through. But you can write some quotes, you can draw, you can write a happy St. Patrick's Day inside the card and on the back. Customize that especially, but the front of the card is usually the beautifulest part of the card. And I really like this card. Um, so I hope this gave you help who, when you suggested this. Um, and I hope you guys found this useful. Um, so subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you guys, and we're almost at 800 subscribers, so that's a lot, um, so thank you guys so much for supporting and sticking with us. We're almost at the one year mark with our video, so that's a lot, um, that's a long, and this, I want to thank you guys so much for being there for us, for supporting us all through the year. And even if you are new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and watching our videos, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!